These speeds are specific airspeeds for maneuvers in an aircraft's particular configuration, shown as indicated airspeed on the airspeed indicator. General aviation aircraft often use color-coded arcs and lines on the indicator to highlight key safety-critical V-speeds. V-speeds use V unless defined by a Mach number, like MMO instead of VMO. VMO is used at lower altitudes, speed in knots per miles. MMO applies at higher altitudes, speed relative to the speed of sound. You may find V speeds with an M instead of the usual V. This means that the particular speed is defined using a Mach number. V speeds can be defined using any type of airspeed, such as knots or miles per hour, but the designation remains V unless a Mach number is used, then it becomes M. Let's take a look at the V speeds you're most likely to encounter and the ones you should know. V R rotation speed. VR is the speed at which the pilot gently pulls back on the control column to lift the nose off of the runway during takeoff. For most commercial aircraft, VR varies for each takeoff, depending on the weight and configuration of the aircraft as well as environmental factors like weather or runway conditions. VR cannot be less than the stall speed. Via X best angle of climb. VX is the airspeed that provides the best angle of climb. In other words, if you maintain VX, you'll gain the most altitude in the shortest horizontal distance. This speed is your go-to for a short field takeoff, particularly when there are obstacles that you need to climb above during takeoff. You should practice climbing at VX and short field takeoffs regularly as it is a critical skill during short field operations. VY is best rate of climb. VY is the airspeed for best rate of climb. In other words, if you maintain VY, you'll gain the most altitude in the shortest amount of time. Compared to VX, you'll use more horizontal distance. VA, maneuvering speed, VA is the aircraft's design maneuvering speed. It is the speed above which you risk damaging the aircraft's structure if you make a full deflection of a flight control. If you make a full deflection of a flight control at or below VA, the aircraft will stall before the structure is damaged. You should not use full deflection of any flight control above VA. That being said, Repeated full deflection of any flight controls, such as full right rudder and then full left rudder, is not recommended, even below VA. VA isn't a fixed figure, it varies with weight. If the aircraft's weight decreases, VA decreases as well and vice versa. VFE, maximum flaps extended speed, VFE, or maximum flap extended speed, is the highest speed permissible with the flaps extended. This speed is your boundary marker when flying with flaps down, ensuring you don't cause potential structural damage. VLE, maximum landing gear extended speed. VLE, or maximum landing gear extended speed, is the top speed at which you can safely fly with the landing gear extended. A related speed is VLO, or maximum landing gear operating speed, the speed above which you cannot extend or retract the landing gear. VLO is typically lower than VLE due to the aerodynamic forces exerted on the landing gear during extension or retraction. VNE never exceeds speed. VNE or never exceed speed is exactly that, the speed above which you should never venture under any circumstances. VNO, maximum structural cruising speed. VNO, the maximum structural cruising speed, is the highest speed that you can safely fly in smooth air. VNO is marked by the upper limit of the green arc on the airspeed indicator. If you're above VNO, 
uh, the yellow arc or caution range and you encounter air that is not smooth, you could cause damage to the aircraft. For example, if you encounter turbulence, the bumps you experience will increase the load factor. If you fly above VNO in these conditions, the increase in load factor could damage the aircraft structure. VS stall speed. VS represents stall speed, essentially the lowest speed at which your aircraft can maintain steady flight. An aircraft can stall at any speed. A stall occurs when the aircraft exceeds the critical angle of attack. This can happen at any airspeed. Say a pilot is descending at a high airspeed, far from VS. If they quickly pitch up, the aircraft may exceed the critical angle of attack and stall, despite being at a high airspeed. VS0, the stall speed in the landing configuration. VS1, the stall speed in a clean configuration. The difference between the stall speed with the flaps down versus the flaps up is significant, so it makes sense to differentiate between the two. Every manufacturer determines the stall speed for their aircraft. The test for stall speed is performed with the throttle closed at maximum takeoff weight. V1, takeoff decision speed. V1, or the takeoff decision speed, is the speed by which the decision to continue the takeoff or abort must be made. The primary purpose of V1 is to serve as a decision point. If a critical system fails, such as an engine, or other anomalies occur before reaching V1, there will be sufficient runway remaining to abort the takeoff safely. However, once V1 is surpassed, the takeoff should continue, as there will not be enough runway left to stop safely. V2, takeoff safety speed. V2, known as the takeoff safety speed, is the minimum speed at which the aircraft can maintain a specified rate of climb with one engine inoperative. The primary goal of V2 is to ensure a safe climb gradient in an engine failure scenario. This speed ensures that the aircraft can maintain a positive rate of climb to clear obstacles and reach a safer altitude. The aircraft must be able to achieve V2 at a minimum of 35 feet above the end of the runway distance after an engine failure at V1. VMC, minimum control speed. VMC, or minimum control speed, represents the lowest speed at which a multi-engine aircraft can maintain controlled flight with one engine inoperative and the other at full power. VEF, may not be less than VMC, and V2 minimum may not be less than 1.1 times VMC. VMCA, minimum control speed air. VMCA is the minimum speed at which the aircraft can maintain controlled flight in the air, with one engine failing and the other at full power. Below VMCA, the aircraft may become uncontrollable due to the loss of directional control, making it a critical speed to be aware of during flight operations. VMCG Minimum Control Speed Ground VMCG, on the other hand, is the minimum speed at which the aircraft can maintain directional control on the ground with one engine inoperative and the other at full power. It's vital to know the speed during the takeoff roll to ensure that control can be maintained if an engine fails during takeoff. V-speeds are critical references that ensure safety and efficiency. They are the result of meticulous calculations and real-world testing and shouldn't be disregarded. You may have even encountered these speeds when flying without knowing it. One thing's for sure, you'll notice them now. Do not forge to subscribe the channel and like the video. See you later.